Hey there, thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 money saving tips for 2022. I live in a very high cost of living area with a fairly modest income. So it's really important to me to make the most of my money. So these are the money saving tips that really help me organize my life. In the end, it's about making the most of your money in order to have room for the things that matter most to you. So these money saving tips have so much to do with organization, discipline, and strategy. Again, so you can have room for the things that matter most to you. So if you're interested in hearing my 10 money-saving tips for 2022, then just keep watching. Okay, tip number one is make a plan for your money. So I live in a very high cost of living area. I am in a suburb of New York City, so it's fairly expensive to live here and my income is fairly low. So it's very important that I make a plan for how I'm going to spend my money in order to make the most of my money. This is just a good idea in general, no matter your income, be it large or small, you can always manage to spend more than you earn. And on the other side, you can always manage to save more than you spend. So that means it's really up to you to make the most of your money. And for me, making a plan for my money is the number one way to do this. I ask you to please give this video a like, click that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and my channel and it's free. Tip number two has to do with food because studies show that we spend 70% of our income on three areas, housing, transportation, and food. So if you can control your food budget, then you're one third of the way to having a really good handle on your expenses. Tip number three is to pick some meals that you like and then batch cook them, freeze them so you have them ready to go. So in a pinch, you have a stockpile of items that you can choose from to eat and you don't end up either getting fast food or calling for takeaway. Tip number four is very much along those lines and that is to stock your fridge and freezer with easy convenience food. Wouldn't you like to say that you cook wonderful, healthy, varied meals every single day and you save all this money by cooking for yourself? Sure, I would love to say that too. But while that happens some of the time, it doesn't happen all the time. And having convenience foods in the freezer or the fridge is an easy way to make up for those days when you just need something quick to eat. Having convenience food in the fridge is much easier and much better for your spending than having to order out or get takeaway. So once more, mastering that food budget is really important because it's such a large percentage of most of our annual budgets. Tip number five is to plan your entertainment or recreation based on what's really important to you. And this goes back to my money saving tip number one, to make a plan for your money. And this kind of uses that big rocks philosophy. Say you're trying to fit a certain number of rocks into a jar. You don't start with the little rocks that are less important. You start with the big rocks that are the most important. You put them in first. You fit the little rocks in there around the bigger rocks that are the most important. The little rocks kind of fill in the spaces. So that means to allocate the money for things that are the most important to you and things that will bring you the absolute most joy. So I'll give you an example of this. For me, entertainment recently included buying an AMC A-list membership, which is $24 a month, and it allows me to see three movies a week at any AMC movie theater in the US. So let me tell you, I make good use of this entertainment expense because I love going to movies and I love going to movies in person. And for me, it's important to go to movies in person. I just feel like it's good self-care. On the flip side, knowing that that's important, I pull back in other areas that are less important to me. For example, I've canceled some ongoing memberships that I had and I really took a look at some expenses that were occurring monthly and I didn't need any more. For example, I canceled my Adobe Pro subscription, which was $20 a month. And I canceled an add-on to my Amazon Prime subscription, which was $7 a month. So all in, I saved about $27 to be able to spend the money on the entertainment that means the most to me. That's the AMC movie membership. 
Tip number six is to shop on sale. If you're familiar with money saving strategies and if you're someone that is dedicated to living a frugal money life, then you're probably very familiar with the idea of shopping on sale. So for me, this really included looking at sales cycle on the whole and what items typically tend to go on sale and when. And it really involves a lot of discipline to not buy items that are not on sale. So I've really gotten strict with myself and said, if it's not on sale, I don't buy it. If it's not a great deal, I don't buy it. And if it's not an absolutely yes, I need this item, then I just don't buy it because I've lived perfectly well with everything I have right now. So I really try to think of my money Money journey as in everything I need I already have. Tip number seven is to only buy items that are an absolute yes. So if you ask yourself do you need this item, do you really want this item, if it's not an absolutely yes then it's a no. So for example I was wondering if I should buy a certain item of clothing and I was kind of hemming and hawing back and forth and I was asking people for opinions and then I realized if I'm asking someone for an opinion, then that means it's not a 100% yes. So that immediately became a no. So that's just an example of ways that you can really save money by just not buying it. <laughs> that's really the number one thing is just don't buy it. When in doubt, don't when it comes to spending your money. Number eight is to borrow or buy used where possible. For example, say you're going on a camping trip and you would like to have some equipment for that, like a sleeping bag or a tent or whatnot. Rather than going and buying all that equipment new, see if you can borrow it. Really, this goes back to planning and looking ahead to see how you can save money on any upcoming outing or potential expense. Tip number nine is to comparison shop. This is one that I sometimes still forget. Even though I've been a frugal, thrifty money saver for most of my life, I still sometimes forget to comparison shop. So there are times when convenience trumps whatever inconvenience will come from looking for a better price on an item. For example, I'm not going to drive 10 miles across town to save 20 cents on produce or whatnot. I'm just going to go with what I see in my local grocery stores and I'm going to do my local grocery loop and I'll just buy what I need and then call it a day because for me it's not worth it to spend that time and energy and gas and, and hassle to get the lowest possible price on whatever I'm looking for when it comes to groceries or recurring expenses. But when it comes to almost everything else, comparison shopping is really important because we don't know when we're missing out on a great deal or when simply expanding our range of possibilities might help save money. So my money saving tip number nine is to make sure that you're exploring all possible options. And my money saving tip number 10, this is the biggest tip and it really, if you take Take away one thing from this video that's the most important one and that is to live below your means this ties back to tip number one with make a plan for your money this is again the number one money saving tip is to live below your means even if you're on a super low salary you can always find ways to live below your income on the flip side again even if you have a super high salary it's always possible to outspend your income so you want to be in group a and really make the most of your money and live below your means. So there you go. Those are my top 10 money saving tips for 2022. I hope this has been helpful. Leave me a comment down in the comments below. Let me know how you're planning on saving money in 2022. I love hearing your stories. You have great and amazing tips to share. So thank you so much as always for watching and I hope you keep watching. Bye.